Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I think what I'm going to be doing is going back down to the first floor and exploring the newly opened room down this hall here. If you go down here and look for a door on the front wall here, this is the one and you can now open it. And this is the billiards room where you can get an optional portrait ghost known as Slim Bank Shot. But before you do that, um, there's a blue ghost at this chess table here. Just, I said there's a blue ghost at this chess table here. Come on. I know there's... Where? Come on now. I don't want to suck in the pool ball just yet. There's... A, I said there is... Ow! Oh, there's a blue ghost playing chess. I know there's one here. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, I got away, because I accidentally hit him with my flashlight over there. Well, yeah, there's another blue ghost that you you can get. Um, of course, I'll have a little pop-up window that'll say what this blue ghost is worth, just like I did before. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just leave that one be and just skip it. So anyway, now what you want to do with Slim Bank Shot here is grab his pool balls, uh, no sexual pun intended, and grab... I mean, and shoot him back at him. This is kind of like Nana in a way, except the balls bounce around the room a lot more erratically. So, you gotta wait for him to do his world's greatest and most powerful pool break in the world, which knocks all the balls off the table, except for the cue ball, magically. The cue ball just, like, uh, like deteriorates or just vanishes in a puff of smoke because of that, because he has such a powerhouse break. And there we go! Let's get him! I want my white diamond from Optional Portrait Ghost! Oh shoot, I'm doing a really bad job here. Don't let go. Must get extra money. Oh, I actually got the big pearl anyway, because I got him down to 10 HP exactly. Wow. Well, I guess it doesn't matter when I get him now, because I already got all the pearls. Unless I wanted that uh, gold picture frame from him, of course. So, uh, come on. Give me your pool balls. Give me... There we go. And one more hit, and one more suck should do it. Boop. Give me. There we go! And that's it for Slim. And that also gives you the treasure chest, as I said, with a load of loot, but... The real prize, which we really want, is going to be the uh, boo in this room for clearing it. Because you definitely, as I said, want to get all the boos in this game. Because uh, there's a good prize for you in the end of all of this if you get all the boos. So, I believe there's a boo to be had here. There's a boo bomb. I just noticed that there, it was flashing there. Anything there? There we go! It's boo hoo! Oh no! You're depressed! I'm sorry. Here, feel the comfort line. <clears throat> comfortable linings of my vacuum cleaner. And there we go. That clears out. Please don't tell me about the plants again. Oh, the small ghosts. Uh, wait, what? Oh, the other ones, I guess, I guess they're from the Portrait Ghost Van Gore, which I'll be getting later in the game, so I guess he's creating them. Um... I believe that's all in this room, if I'm not mistaken. And now this this room here is kind of annoying here. The first thing you want to do is clear out the room, of course. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, before you do anything, I don't believe there's any like uh, blue blue ghosts in here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I don't think there is. But okay, let's just start this. You tap on the projector here, and it'll start the room up. And you'll notice that there is invisible ghosts in here. Well, as opposed to the mirror room, uh, th they have those grabber ghosts like that, and you can only see their shadows on the projector, and they do damage to you, and as you've seen, they are the grabber kind of ghosts. They stall you from uh, uh, being able to grab other ghosts, excuse me, other ghosts with my vacuum. Uh, so this room is pretty dang annoying. <laughs> and there's, and now there's two of them at the same time. I can't see where the other one is exactly. I can only see its shadow. Uh, no, 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 no. Ow. You're not allowed to hump me that hard. If you want love, you better do it gently, dang it. And uh, you can also try pulling off the projector screen, but it's going to be one of those fake poster things that you get with the boo along with it. Oh, shoot. Two of them just appeared at the same time. Uh, there was, I think they, oh, there's only one. I thought there was both their, uh, uh, misty appearances there at the same time, but I guess not. 
Come on. Come on. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew it was somewhere at the bottom because I didn't see its uh, puff of air. And that's done with that. And there's a boon here, but I'm going to open this chest first. And that's going to give me Mario's next item. Mario's glove. And it's kind of sweaty. Ew. Uh, you know, it would have been nice if they would have washed it like his hat. That, that would have been very nice. Just saying... I mean, they're, they're clean about that other thing, so I, I don't know why they couldn't have done it with this one, but I guess I shouldn't question the ghosts. And there's another boo! It's Shambu! Uh, man, I hope it's no relation to the Sham Wow guy. Oh boy. No, 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 no! Oh, he left me. I believe he's now in the hallway, so I'm just gonna leave here real quick and try and keep, uh, try and stay on track with him. Um, like, if I go down here, he should be right over here. I want him to go back into the projection room or go into this room like that. That's even better because this is a nice big room for me to get him, get him in. And there we go. And give me. There we go. That's boo number 20, which will open up the room way, way, way on the third floor um, balcony. Not balcony. It's it's the rooftop if I'm not mistaken, where you can battle the boss of this area later. So you, yeah, you need uh, 20 boos to get in that area. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you which door that is later, but anyway, I want to go back into this room just to make sure I got everything, because I forgot to shake this light, I think, as well as this one. Nothing? Okay. Wait, wait, what about this? Whoa, there we go! That's a lot better. I, I was worried that I was going to be coming here for nothing. So, there we go. And I think that's about all I can do in this room. Now, where I should be going next is this room over on the second floor. See that at the bottom left corner of the screen? That uh, very dark grayed out room there? Um, that's the rooms, or the, er, the first area of the game. I, I just end up keep going back there. I mean, I keep going back over there, don't I? Yeah, this game does have a lot of backtracking, but uh, that's mainly because this house has a lot of secrets and stuff like that. Uh, it's still a pretty cool game, I have to say, because backtracking is ne it doesn't really take that long, nor does it really feel all that tedious. So, we're back over here into the fake door hall. Um, I should also mention something else that a bunch of other people have said. If you look at the uh, below the doors of fake doors, you'll notice that there aren't any mats. But if you look at real doors, there are mats. So that's a much easier and faster way to tell if there's a fake door or not than to check your map screen like I said before. So there you go. That's an even better way to look for fake doors. And over here is the twins room. Um, in here is indeed a blue ghost. I believe what you have to do is shake this bunk bed here. No, I didn't want, I didn't want to climb the bunk bed. I said shake the bunk bed. Shake the bunk. Shake. There we go. Uh, oh, dang it! I lost another one. Ah! Anyway, let's search this room for treasures if you want to. When you're ready, uh, make that this thing on the ceiling spin around counterclockwise two times or three times. I forgot what it is. I believe there's some stuff to be found in this room. Well, there's a heart, I guess. Um, and the portrait ghost in here is a double ghost actually hence the term the twins room and i just spun them around there we go and those are some evil looking kids i have to say why are kids always spookier than uh um adult ghosts i mean if you, if you ever look at a kid ghost they always got those really blank spooky eyes but if you look at an adult ghost they're just like they're there or something. I don't know how else to put it. Oh, I can shake the dartboard, I guess. Can I pull off this poster? Yes, I can! Uh, did I want to do that? I don't think so. But anyway, uh, mm -hmm. as for that blue ghost, I'll probably tell you what um, what its contents are in a little box, or you should have already seen it by now. And they wanted to play hide-and-seek in case you didn't see that. Mm -hmm. you got to leave the room and let them hide. And now you're going to see there's a bunch of boxes on the floor here. Now, when you vacuum a box, if you see it shake, that means one of the kids are in there. Or I should say one of the twins are in there. So if you didn't notice, this box has a twin, this box has a twin. That's how you tell them apart, and that's how you win their game. And then once you uh, beat their little hide-and-seek game here... I, I didn't want to call for Mario, I wanted to get the twins there. There we go. And 
now they're gonna say play fair, and now they're gonna start attacking you! Ah! Um, what you wanna do first, um, is get, ow, is get their, uh, toys out from underneath their feet. You want to do the one on the floor first, the one that's riding the car first. They don't really have names to my knowledge, so just get the one on the car first, and I'll just call him Blue Twin. What, the reason why you want to get the blue guy first is because the red one holds all the pearls. So, uh, I accidentally turned small there, but that's okay. I'll eventually turn back to normal size. It's easy to dodge, the, it's easy to dodge your attacks anyway, and pull off his plane from beneath him, like pull, pull it right out from underneath his butt, and there we go, you'll automatically lock onto him, hold onto him for as long as you can to try and get as much pocket change as you can. Man, kids sure contain a lot of valuables. And, oh, I lost my grip of him, but I got the big pearl anyway. Oh my god, I actually can't get the big pearl because it's on top of there. Must regain control of vacuum. Must get big pearl. There we go. Woohoo! No, 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 no. Let me get... Yay! And I want that pearl as well. There we go. And I also got the kid as well. Whew. So that takes care of that. There's a boo in this room as well, in case you didn't notice. So let's uh, grab this thing. This is Mario Shoe! Uh, it still smells like his feet, so I, I, I actually don't recommend that you smell that. Just saying. And uh, there's, no, there's a boo in this room. i seen that thing go off. And there's a boo ball. That's completely useless. Who needs a boo ball when you can have the real thing, you know? Why well, have the imitation boo flavoring? Where is the freaking Boo in this room, anyway? Over here again? Ah! It's Boo-rus. Uh, I don't get that joke, actually. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna suck him in anyway, and he is going to go in this hallway. And I want him to go into any other room but the hallway, because it's kind of hard to suck in ghosts in the hallway sometimes. Or at least in certain hallways. That one, I guess, seemed fine, but other ones are really hard to, to get Boo's in. And there we go. That's Boo number 21. And, oh, I should also mention that I've already covered all the boos that you can get in, uh, not, excuse me, not boos, blue ghosts that you can get in this area. Um, and now what I'm going to be doing is going to the fortune teller's room, and, uh, oh, no, oh, I forgot an item, actually. I can't go to the fortune teller's room just yet with, uh, Madame Claire Avoya. Um, I need to get some fire and go back over to that, uh, Astral Hall place, um, just to make sure I got all the rooms that I can so far. Um, yeah, I'm good. Okay, so I just want to go in here and get some fire. And then I'm going to go up to the second floor again and go up to that area that I needed to light the candles in. Um, because I kind of, you know, moved... I mean, I couldn't get to that in the last parts because I didn't really have enough time. And I don't want to make parts overly long. Uh, I'm just going to show you the path over to that room once again, in case you forgot. So, it's just right down the hall here, and, uh, oh, I forgot to mention something. If in a dark, unfinished room like this, if you keep calling for Mario, just listen. He'll just practically scream Mario, if you keep doing this. Come on, do it. No? Come on. Um... Any day now, please, Luigi. Mario. Mario. Uh, maybe I have to wait a while Mario. or something like that. Because it's like he goes, Mario! Or, some, Mario! or something like that if you Mario. keep trying to uh, say Mario, Mario in a room that's not finished. Mario. Or maybe it's in a room that is finished. Mario. I don't know. He doesn't seem to be doing it right now. But anyway, go into this room and now light all these candles over here. Oh, wait, wait. Um, get some pocket change from these uh, dressers over here, if there is any. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any, so... Wait, wait, isn't there a heart up here? Hearts? I need some love, baby. I need some love. Oh, pocket change! Even better than a heart. Anyway, aim your fire up and light all these candles like that. Come on. Come on. It's a lot easier to uh, aim your fire when you've got the lights up, or I should say your flashlight out in a, in a dark room. Otherwise, you have to start the fire up and aim yourself with the sea stick. And now some ghosts will start appearing in this room now that you lit that you lit it up for some reason, considering that they like dark rooms more than anything. 
But they do blow out the candles, so I guess that makes some sense. Maybe it's because I disturb the spirit, so to speak, uh, because I lit the room up or something, I don't know. And I don't have to light these, I'm just doing it for the heck of it. And I'm going to get you, just because you're the easier of the two. And then the shy guy goes like that. And there we go. Now, waiting for more ghosts to appear, like, oh, no, 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 ah, shoot. Uh, one, that was like teamwork right there. One, one ghost stunned me, and I was trying to run away from it, and then the other one stunned me again with, with fright, and then I took a hit from the first ghost. That's teamwork. If only they were like that all the time, that would make this game a lot harder. <laughs> People would probably get ticked off at it if it was like that, though. Um, looking for a red flashy flash. Wait, is it the chandelier? Or is it this thing? Yeah, it's somewhere around here, that's for certain. A shaky? Come on. Looking for... Is it this one? Is it? Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. Okay, let's try it again. There's a boo somewhere around here. What the heck? Come on, I know there's... I checked this before, dang it. I, wait, I checked that one before. What? I did... Ugh. Oh, whatever. It's Boon Swaggle. I don't quite get that pun either. But anyway, get him before he leaves the... Uh, get... What the heck? He didn't leave. That, that's rare. And there we go. <laughs> I, I was really expecting him to leave the hallway once he left there. But he just came right back in. I guess he wanted to go inside my vacuum after all. And that takes care of that. So now what you want to do is go through here, and this is a brand new room here. Um, this is uh, the observatory, this is what I was talking about before. Now this is the room that you need to get Mario's last lost item, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you could get this at any time as long as you have fire, but um, what's this room is really, really cool, I have to say. Look, uh, take a look in this telescope, and just take a look around here. This happens automatically, by the way. And for some reason, even though you're in the middle of the house, you can see the moon for some reason. And then this part of the house completely disappears, as well as the walls itself here, which is kind of creepy, and yet cool in the same way. So, for some reason, this room is like a direct transporter into space. Anyway, what you, what you want to do is grab one of these stars, and then try shooting it back over at the moon here. Yeah, you want to shoot the moon like you do in that in Hearts. Get it? Hearts, the card game. Hearts, ha, 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 a bad pun. Okay, let's try it again. It's very, very hard to aim for this moon. So feel free to take as long as you need to, because you absolutely have to do this to progress. Here we go. Oh, it's way too wide there. Come on, man. You can do this, Ouija. You can do this. I believe in you. Eh. Oh, come on. That was wide, too wide again. I think I had it uh, before I adjusted it just a little bit. Come on. Come on. Give me. Give me. Yeah, okay, let's try that again. Eh. That's perfect. Right there. And what that'll do is blow up the whole freaking moon. <laughs> And now we're going to be getting a path to Mario's Star. This is Mario's last lost item. And I just noticed this part has gone on for a really long time again. I lost track of time again, dang it, but that's okay. I'm sure you guys don't mind that much. So let's grab Mario's Star, and if you take a look at your inventory here, uh, you'll notice that you've got all of Mario's lost items, that's in that box on the far right there. And that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. So, when the next part starts, I'll be all the way over at Madame Clairvoya's room, because I'm going to be giving her all those items and capturing her. So I'll see you then. Oh, and I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>